This is the first of a three-part series on the Raster Blaster Pro program. This video is going to discuss PC configuration and image processor configuration. So the first thing we want to do is configure our PC so that the program will run correctly. We're going to go to our control panels and we're going to go to folder options. And in folder options what we want to do is select the view tab and make sure we've always got always show icons and our thumbnails and turn off the sharing wizard and that is all we need to do there and then we're going to go into power options and whichever one you have here whether it's a basic balanced or power saver or high performance or whatever you have here you want to change the plan settings of what you have selected and put the computer to sleep never okay we always want to keep that computer going next thing we're going to do is change the advanced power settings and in here what we want to do is go to our USB settings and we want to disable the selective suspend setting that is all we need to do there and we'll go back to control panels and go to Windows Update and we want to change the settings to make sure that we download them but let me choose them when to install them okay after we choose that what we will do is one last thing is go to control panels and select our user accounts and in user we want to change user control settings and always notify never and that is the configuration portion now we're going to talk about the Raster Blaster image processor and this is a basically a navigator rip and what we're going to do is control it as a pass-through rip so what we want to do is make a page setup which is this icon right here or under the Raster Blaster file menu you can go to page setup manager and what you're going to do is create a page setup for each plate size that you have. I'll create a couple of them here just to show you how we'll do this. We're going to hit new and we'll choose a device that we're going to operate. I'm going to choose a PTR8600 and then I'm going to configure device and I'm going to choose whichever virtual magazine I choose to do first whether it's a 4-up or an 8-up or a 2-up. Uh, whichever you are going to do first you choose the appropriate virtual magazine from your PTR and you choose your resolution and then you can save and I'm going to go ahead and save this as my data press and you can hit save you see it shows up here and I'll create a new one and choose the same PTR however this time I will choose a different virtual magazine and it's monochrome and it's my proper resolution I'll hit save as and I'm going to change that to 4-up. Now I've got two page setups to run. Now again, for every page, for every plate size that you are going to run through your uh, CTP device, you will need a page setup for that. And that is how you configure your Raster Blaster image processor.